Perhaps one of the holiest days within the Imperium, Sanguinala is interpreted by many fans of 40k as the Grimdark Universe's equivalent of Christmas, perhaps due to the name Sanguinala being similar to the festival of Saturnalia, an ancient Roman pagan celebration that was the basis for much of Christmas as we know it today. Along with other celebrations, such as Emperor's Day, the Day of Ascension, and Candlemas, Sanguinala will be celebrated throughout the million worlds of the Imperium, though how you organise it on the same day when all of these worlds must have different calendars for their orbits, or how you get tribes people on feral worlds who think the Emperor is their son to believe in the son of the sun is beyond me. Nevertheless, I'm making this video to inform you of what Sanguinala is. At the end of the Horus Heresy, during the Siege of Terra, a battle for the soul of the Imperium itself, in which the traitor Primarchs seized the palace of their father, the Emperor of Mankind, who stood against them with his still loyal sons, the Emperor, two of his sons, Sanguinius and Rogal Dawn, and a contingent of Custodes, Imperial Fists and Blood Angel Space Marines boarded the Arch Traitor Horus's flagship, the Vengeful Spirit, as it hung in the skies over Terra with the goal of ending this galactic-wide civil war once and for all. After the force was scattered throughout the ship, Sanguinius, Primarch of the Blood Angels Legion, reached Horus's throne room first. When Horus failed to corrupt his brother Primarch once again, the two began to battle. Though Sanguinius was amongst the greatest of the Primarchs, both as a warrior and as a leader, his numerous battles against the traitors as well as the demons of chaos had left him worn down and exhausted. Sanguinius fell to his traitorous brother, with Horus strangling the life from the Angel of the Imperium, an event which would send out a massive psychic shockwave which would affect his sons, the Blood Angels, on a genetic level for millennia to come. Following his entombment upon his homeworld of Baal, the murdered Sanguinius became a holy figure within the slowly growing religion surrounding the belief that the Emperor is a god. Many took to seeing Sanguinius in the same way that Christians in the real world see Jesus, with their version having the Emperor as the father and Sanguinius as the son. The matter of the spirit, the third part of the Holy Trinity, is an interesting theory which I will come back around to. Now. Due to Sanguinius becoming this holy figure, with temples to him appearing alongside those of the Emperor, throughout much of the Imperium, a holy day was granted to him, a time of remembrance and celebration, Sanguinala. Sanguinala is a sacred and holy day, as I said before, one of remembrance and celebration. Every Imperial citizen must wear a badge on Sanguinala, a crimson red reminder of whose day this is, as it is the colour of Sanguinius' legion's armour, the Blood Angels. As for the Blood Angels themselves, Sanguinala must be a very solemn and revered day. Due to their close link to their fallen Primarch, due to the twin curses of the Red Thirst and Black Rage, with the Red Thirst being the Blood Angel giving in to a suppressed thirst for blood and now craving it with every waking moment, and the black rage which causes the marine who has succumbed to it to believe he is the long dead Sanguinius in his final moments, with the rage he felt towards Horus and the other traitor Primarchs at the Siege of Terror sending him into a blind fury, attacking friend and foe alike, believing them to be Horus, the Blood Angels will more than likely observe this day in a penitent silence, remembering their gene father and offering prayers to him as he sits at the Emperor's side in the afterlife, which I'm sure Sanguinius would want but the Twin Curses are a secret, so don't tell any Inquisitors. As not much lore is actually available about Sanguinala out there, other than its existence being mentioned, that it is a holiday that exists within 40k, and being told to observe it in posts on the Regimental Standard website, which I will link below, this leaves us free to imagine how worlds and factions within the Imperium would celebrate it. Obviously, the preachers of the Adeptus Ministorum will hold masses and congregations in their churches and cathedrals, as well as across shrine worlds, preaching the word of the Lactitio Divinitatis and informing the populace of Sanguinius before leading prayers and hymns honouring him. Of course, this is what all good and honest citizens of the Imperium will be attending, such as you, dear listeners, I am sure. However, many other factions will have their own tradition. Feral world tribes people may have a special way to honour the angel, 
perhaps a blood sacrifice to fit the motif. I'm sure there's commissars out there giving a special sanguinale speech to their Imperial Guard troops before sending them off to die horribly to the Imperium's foes. I for one would love to see the Death Corps of Krieg charging across no man's land covered in a red paint that isn't their enemy's blood, yet. Maybe the Space Wolves honour their Uncle Primarch's death in their own way, drunken brawling and braggadocio, great wolf feast in their wolf halls or some such. A celebration of the way of life Sanguinius died for. Whatever we may know or not know about the holiday, I'm sure all the armies out there of the Imperium have their own special way of celebrating Sanguinala. Now, one last topic I want to touch on is the Sanguinol, a near mythological warrior mentioned in some of the Blood Angels most secret records hidden deep within their librarian. The Sanguinol appears at the most dire of times for the Sons of Sanguinius. Fighting with unmatched prowess, the Sanguinol will turn previously hopeless battles for the Blood Angels into victories, at points saving them from being wiped out before disappearing as suddenly as he arrived. Clad entirely in golden armour, a golden death mask resembling Sanguinius, with wings almost as glorious as the angels himself, and wielding a golden sword, he is a hero of the chapter. Yet none know his origins. Some blood angels believe him to be the noble and honourable spirit of their primarch, returning from the afterlife to protect them and smite the foes of the Imperium. Others believe him to be the original head of the Sanguinary Guard, Sanguinius' honour guard, Ascalon, a figure almost as long dead as Sanguinius himself. Those within the Inquisition, who have looked into such matters, believe him to be an amalgamation of the thoughts, beliefs and needs of the Blood Angels, an imperial equivalent to the foul warpsborn demons. Whoever, or whatever the Sanguinor may be, to the Blood Angels at least, he is their Holy Spirit. I want to thank you all for listening to this and allow me to wish you a happy Sanguinola. And remember, if you've been a good, loyal citizen, I'm sure the Sanguinola will bring you what you wish to the Emperor for this year. <laughs>